Okay, I think I've got some explaining to do, some gaps to fill, <laughs> information to give. I did go down on the TNT. I was in the mountains on the very last day. Wasn't even supposed to be here today. Literally wasn't supposed to even be there. We opted to stay an extra day. I wasn't filming when I went down. I was not doing a, ta a video on the tail of the dragon that day with the TNT. Uh, the video plans for that day were going and exploring again back in the forest, the national forest. We were going to jump off the cliffs into the water, right around in all that forest area. There's so many cool spots to, to shoot and enjoy. But yeah, we ended up running out to the tail first thing. We were gonna do that real quick and uh, I made sure that wasn't the case. When I went off the road, I was not on a lean. I was straight up. Um, through my poor choice of lines and gearing, uh, I, I ended up getting pushed out to the edge and target fixation, I looked down. The second I looked down at the grass and realized I was riding edge, boom, I went off. The last time I saw the speedo, it was 3540. So I hit the ground around that speed. I ended up traveling, like it, the, the bike came down on my right leg and ended up traveling parallel, sliding parallel with the road, luckily. Um, there's like a four to five foot, you'll see in the video, there's like a four to five foot gap there from the edge. And I, we, me and the bike cruised in the grass, that grass too. I'm telling you, I've never felt such a slicker surface. Like I slid so far. I don't understand it. How I, how the, it's so slick on that grass. Like I've ridden on grass. I don't know, maybe it was just a damp section. I ended up kicking the bike off of me right as the bike hit something and spun. And when it spun, it kicked right off the side. And if I had been on that bike, attached to that bike still, I would have gone whoop right with it. Short, I can go into a lot of detail on where I think I messed up. All of it could have been fixed by just going a lower speed. It would have never happened in the first place if I had just been doing proper speed limit, just chilling, cruising, and not trying to uh, rossy it out there. It's really bad up there too, guys. Like, there's no joke. Like, when they say you have no service, no way to get a hold of anybody, you're at the mercy of the random stranger, they are right, 100% correct. You would not want to be pushing it out there by yourself because you could s very easily just slip right into those bushes and you are nowhere to be found. Um, I was at the back of the pack. I told everybody to go ahead of me. So when I went down, my crew didn't know it and I knew they didn't know it. But we talked about that before this trip. When you get on the tail, it's honestly more dangerous to try to focus on the crew you're with and, and looking back, I I've, I've almost went out a few times on that tail doing that. That was the plan. If anyone went down, everyone would make their run. And when you get to the end, if someone's not there, then obviously you start raising questions and, and figuring it out. And that's what my guys did. Uh, it sucks that you can't get a hold of your guys to let them know you're okay. Because, I mean, at some point you realize something's not right. And you'll see that in the video. Um, and they're just trying to figure out what's going on. Sucks being on the other side, knowing exactly what's up and um, knowing everything's okay. And knowing that they're having to uh, play that out. It's really crappy. The officer, Lieutenant Wilson, coolest officers I think I've ever dealt with. I'm telling you, he's, uh, I believe he said 30 years on the force. He retires pretty soon here. And I, Really appreciate what you got, what you did for us that day, and um, all my guys did too. You really um, made an impact on us. Congratulations on retirement. Do something fun, man. You've earned it. Dealing with guys like me, um, the record guys, super cool guys. Uh, cut me a deal, really. I believe um, they helped me out as much as they could. Um, I've never dealt with a bike that's been wrecked. So there's a certain amount of process that goes into uh, cranking it back up and, and, and all that. I was unaware, um, so they, they brought a lot of that to my attention and probably saved more damage to the bike. I thought the bike was totaled. I watched that bike, tire over tank, 
at least four times. I'm thankful to have my boys there too. Um, it's really helpful having them there. Uh, last year I had my brother, but it, it's it's different, man. Like it's just when you got the almost the whole crew, um, it definitely makes you feel more secure. So, so thank you, boys. Sorry I messed the day up. I did too, man. I just totally jacked that whole day. The TNT guys, it is. Um, I was actually able to. You'll see in the video it cranks. Um, I don't think there was. I have yet to go over the bike. It's been parked since I got home. But you're going to be amazed when you see the condition that that bike is in. Um, it's amazing, really. It's a testament to the TNT. A small board community. You guys are amazing. So much love and outpouring. Um, if I needed help, so many outstretched hands, uh, just people checking in. The response from the community really blew my mind a little bit. And uh, you guys are the best. I hope everyone else had a good, safe trip. Also want to apologize in advance. There is um, some language in this one, guys. If uh, language offends you, I am sorry. Um, but this was just the way it is. That's It was, it was the... The raw deal. When your boy went down, those that adrenaline was just whoo. Yeah, they're having a Porsche day. I went down guys, so did the TNT, she's down the cliff, I'm totally fine, it just slid out, oh I think my bike's done boys, oh, 
What a stupid move. This just destroys our day. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna have to wait for help. Okay, so coming up here is the turn I went down on. And I will point out where it was exactly right there. So I'm one turn behind these guys. Tom's right behind Sean here. Uh-oh. That's the guys we passed. We passed those guys, me and Garrett and Nate, so something they pulled off or something. He crashed. Here of all places? Dude, what happened? Went down. You just washed out? I uh, yeah. Slid. You're all right? Yeah, I'm totally fine. That's the only thing that happened to me. But she's are you crazy to get out. Dude, we knew. What? Yeah, I. I, I well, yeah. Because we were looking, we came back to it. I'm like, what, dude? This has got to be wrong. Yeah, I mean, I knew at some point, you guys. I can't let yeah, you know. You know. Well, I'm glad that. So. We yeah. The one guy on the bike here has been helping me. And it's the worst, like one of the worst things. I know. What's up, man? Hey, you alright? Yes, sir. Where's the bike? It's right here. It's one of those little mini motos. That you just came by a minute ago? Uh, up there on the bike, Grand Beaver. Are you going to climb down there, Garrett, and hook it onto the front wheel? Yeah, I think so. Front fork or best you can, something like that. Probably put it on the forks. Would it be easier to go down the rocks and work your way up? 
Do you want me to do it, Garrett? <clears throat> no, bro. Are you sore? No, I'm okay. Whatever. That's Garrett scaling down the side. <laughs> He's making a joke out of it. So bad. That's thorns. Yeah. Gee, you're lucky you didn't end up in a thorn bush, huh? <laughs> yeah. Probably still runs. Well, I'm sure. It was a. Uh leak of oil or something everywhere? That could have just been water off the bank. I don't see any oil or gas coming off it. Found the key? Yeah, it was in it. Don't look like anything's bent too bad. It's actually not that bad. Like the body pieces are straight. Cheap, huh? cheap. Not starting yet. They have to take it back to the shop, I thought. Yeah, they're gonna have to. I thought that was the rule. It's not like weed. Yeah, I know. Don't want her to fall over, do you? <laughs> Put her in here. Your brand new blinker, dude. I think so. Actually, not so bad. It's not too bad. Like, it's some fixable. little accessories. And this is all. Little accessories. It's a little character now. You got some stories you can tell about it. Yeah. It's got a story now, don't Look at that. Fixed. <laughs> you, know, you got to you can, like, frame this or something. Right? Yeah. Right, we get everybody recovered from the plank. I don't look Pull too you bad. Guys, all you guys, you guys. Yep, 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 yep. We're all yeah, back. Thank y'all. That, that's a whole lot safer for everybody. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. I appreciate what you did for me. Get home in one piece, man. If you stayed on that thing, you could have been a lot different for you. Yeah. He, he tweaked out a little bit. He's going to buy a lot of things today, but. Yes, sir, I do. He just bought me a t shirt. <laughs> I'd buy you a shirt if you didn't. <laughs>
appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.